Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, you may be aware that Conor Ben is going to make his return in only three days, so very short notice, on the DAZN show over in Orlando, Florida, this coming Saturday. He is going to take on a Mexican kid called um, Rodolfo Orozco, who I don't know anything about. 21 years of age, six foot one. Uh, turned pro when he was 16, this kid. Only weighing, I think, 108 pounds or you know, light fly. Um, has fought at welterweight before, which is what Ben is. Uh, recently spent some time at lightweight, but you know, a young kid, only 21 years of old, uh, years of age. Sorry, doesn't have his man strength. I wouldn't imagine a six foot one string bean. Uh, Hearn and Matchroom probably know more about this kid than I do, and um, you would expect Ben to beat him. Although the Mexicans do have quite a few sort of hidden hidden uh, talents, to put it mildly, um, as British fighters have discovered in over the last few years. But uh, you would think Ben would win. You would think Matchroom have done their homework, especially at such short notice, and that Ben will win. But a lot of people are saying, have said to me in the comments section of the last video I did, and, the, uh, and they've messaged me, they've said, oh, it's terrible that Ben is allowed to fight. Why is Ben allowed to fight? It's not right. He should be banned. You know, he hasn't proved that. Look, you're preaching to the choir. I completely agree with you. And if I lacked any kind of sort of verve about this, about that subject when I did my previous video, if I, I mean, I don't think I even mentioned that aspect of it, but it's because I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not remotely surprised that this is, this is happening. Uh, and I don't think you should be either. Look, Kamil Sokolovsky, a few days ago, was given a three-year ban for taking... I think it was an anabolic steroid. I can't remember the name of name of it, which one it was. And someone, Michael, shout out to Michael, in the comments section of the last video said, well, you know, Sokolovsky didn't have the people who could put together a 270-page dossier. In other words, one rule for one and one rule for another, which is what I alluded to during that video. Um, and Ben, uh, someone else, I think actually quite a few other people have said, look, Ben hasn't been found innocent. Um, despite what Hearn peddles, and uh, he shouldn't be allowed to fight. Now, again, I absolutely agree with you. He hasn't been found innocent. That narrative is, is complete fabrication. And for me, the sort of, the arse fell out of Eddie Hearn's reputation when he behaved, you know, slavishly almost towards Conor Ben, who he was grooming to be a big star and who he'd invested a lot of money in, and try to sort of obscure the points and, you know, made statements that clearly weren't true and so on and so forth. And that's why I've said, certainly since then, I mean, I said this before, but it sort of reinforced the belief that, you know, Eddie Hearn can never be trusted. He has that, you know, Essex boy patter. Um, if he's your promoter and you're, or your uh, representative in any way, you're on to a winner because he will fight your corner. There's no doubt about that. He actually put his reputation on the line for Ben. And to be honest, his reputation, has, as I say, has been badly tarnished, at least for me. Then you've got Ben himself, who, who has behaved like an absolute spoilt, self-entitled brat. Now, I've never met this kid, but he seems to me like, well, he seems very dislikable to me. Um, every fighter needs confidence and a bit of swagger. But when it's flat out arrogance in the face of some pretty robust evidence against you to simply throw your toys out of the pram and swear you're innocent without ever really proving it. And I don't want to hear about this dossier or this, you know, the fact that the WBC reinstated him. And all this. You know, Conor Ben has said that that substance it was never in my system. He has produced zero evidence to suggest that. His side of the story is the accurate one. It isn't, okay? And going over to Florida and fighting in Orlando, I think was inevitable. Because if he fought, if he had his comeback fight, if that's the right phrase, in Britain, he'd be mercilessly booed by huge sections of, sections of the crowd. And in fact, a lot of people probably wouldn't watch it. So sticking him away from the fire sticking him, you know, mollycoddling him a little bit, putting him on a, an undercard over the hills and far away in Orlando, 
um, is probably the right decision by Hearn. What, but another one of my subscribers left a comment regarding the Florida Commission, because according to this, to this gentleman, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, he left a comment saying that we shouldn't be surprised that Florida have uh, commissioned Ben to fight because they were the ones that allowed a 58-year-old Evander Holyfield uh, to get smashed up by that MMA fighter who was 15 years younger than him. This is when I think De La Hoya was meant to fight the MMA guy and pulled out for health reasons. Holyfield stepped in at late notice, 58 years old, hadn't done anything in boxing or in combat sports for God knows how many years since he retired. And the MMA guy humiliated a, uh, you know, a living legend of boxing. Um, stopped him in a round, had him on the floor, and oh God, it was just, you know, it was one of those, um, what's that now defunct organisation? I can't remember the name of it. Um, yeah, but it was, it was, it's the same organisation that initially won the purse bids for Teofimo Lopez versus George Cambosis, promised them millions and didn't deliver. So, <laughs> so you know, Florida, the Florida Commission, Florida Athletic Commission, sanctioned those fights and have sanctioned uh, Ben to fight. So yeah, Ben Ben will probably do this for a while. He'll probably go go on the road, have a few ten rounders. Hearn and Matchroom, Matchroom will try to spin the narrative again, as they have done, that he has been found innocent, which he has not. Um, try and get the British public to at least give him a chance and then bring him back to England and put him as maybe a chief support. But there's some rebuilding to be done for Conor Ben inside the ring and outside the ring. Um, and I would say the outside the ring issues are probably more prevalent than the inside the ring ones. But Ben has been saying, you know, I'm going to smash this kid up and then I'm putting the everyone from 147 to 160 on notice. No, you're not, Connor. Until you fight Boots Ennis or a Terence Crawford or... I mean, Eubank is the one he wants because that's the most lucrative and there's the, the, the sort of name, the, the, the two names go together like, you know, um, salt and pepper. Ben and Eubank, it's going to sell. But does anyone really care about that fight? I've never cared about that fight. It was always a gimmick fight to me. To me, Ben's career was being brought on very well before the Eubank fight was announced. And then there was this sort of, they sort of shot off at a tangent in a bid to make a lot of money because of the name value. But I've never cared about that fight. Um, to me, Conor Ben remains tarnished. He re he's, there's a big question mark over him with regards to PEDs, a huge question mark. But if he wants to carry on fighting, you know, and prove himself, and he still wants to be a legend, he's going to have to beat valid names, um, the big names in the division, you know, I don't know, Stanny Onis or, you know, well, anyone in the top ten, he's got to be fighting top teners, let's put it that way. So, yeah, I agree with you guys who said he shouldn't be fighting, he is, will I watch it, I'll take a look. A skeptical look, um, see how he performs. I'm really, I'll probably watch it because I'm intrigued by this Mexican kid with the glossy record to see if he's a hidden gem or if he's as bad as Matchroom hope he is. But leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about this. Do you agree with it or not? Maybe, you, maybe you don't agree. Maybe you think Ben should be allowed to fight. Maybe you think you know it's all water under a bridge. Um, let me know and. Thanks for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'd appreciate that a great deal. Hit the like button and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.